Hello everybody and welcome to f my next walkthrough which is free space. Uh, there's something slightly different about this walkthrough and that's the fact that this, as some people, the more eagle-eyed of you have probably noticed, this is being played on free space 2. Basically free space was released uh, back in the 1990s and had a sequel Free Space 2 and at the end of Free Space 2 the project was pretty much abandoned which annoyed Free Space fans no end because uh, as far as the um, science fiction flight sim type game went it was pretty much the apex of the game the story was excellent and there was a long uh, there was much further that the series could have advanced. Unfortunately they decided that uh, that wasn't the case and the project was shut down with the story extremely open. And what happened was that uh, seeing that the project had no future, the guys who designed the game actually released the source code of the game to the community. And in doing so, what the community have done over the last sort of 10 years is develop it even further. The graphics are still up with modern day standards now. Um, there have been tweaks to the AI, tweaks to the mission trees, trying to eliminate some bugs etc. And um, what we have here is what's called the uh, source code project and what they essentially did was they imported everything from Free Space 1 into Free Space 2 and gave it the same upgrade that they gave to uh, Free Space 2, that'd be graphics. Um, it's mainly graphical in nature but there were some um, there were some things like uh, mission bugs which got ironed out etc. And another quite exciting thing which they did um, they have redone a lot of the cutscenes for the game and in fact there's one completely new one which you guys I'm sure will enjoy when you when it comes down to it. I am going to be playing the game on medium difficulty. The reason for this is that I want to try and get as many of the um, medals as possible and the only way that you can get a lot of the medals is playing it on medium difficulty. There will be some missions where I probably will have to drop the difficulty down. I haven't played this game in four or five years, as you'll probably be able to tell. And um, I also will uh, include some of the uh, rather amusing deaths that I'll go through, because I'm pretty sure I'll die multiple occasions trying to go through this game. Uh, I'm you, There are training missions, but I'm going to skip those because they're dull and there's really not anything uh, useful to them. The only reason that you do them is to get your uh, pilot's wings. So I've done those off camera, there's no need to uh, include them in a walkthrough. The basic background of the game is that uh, the Terrans, humans, whatever you want to call them, are currently at war with a alien race called the Vasudans and have been for 14 years. Um, that's basically where we picked the campaign up. The intro um, that you've already seen was an attack on Ross 28. We don't know who's done it and uh, that's basically all the information that we have at this point in time. I hope you enjoy the game. Free Space basically set new standards as far as science fiction flight sims went for um, building up storyline and tension and also didn't follow the normal route that some flight sims do which is basically turning you into someone who's pretty much immortal and able to change the world on your own. Um, in this game it becomes, in this game and certainly in Free Space 2 it becomes very apparent that that isn't the case. Okay guys I hope you enjoy. Operation Thresher in the Antares system did not proceed as planned. Terran Command estimates Terran losses at 504 pilots dead, 14 missing, and presumed dead. The Basudan foothold on Basuda Prime and Subspace Node remains solid. However, their supply lines have been cut off. 
which means they are most likely lacking reinforcements and supplies. Expect more news on that front in tomorrow's briefing. There have been many rumors about the appearance of another sentient species. These are rumors, nothing more. The investigation of the Ross-128 attack has determined nothing. Concern yourselves with the known enemy, the Basudans. There is to be no more talk of phantom ships. Let this serve as a welcome aboard to all newly arrived pilots aboard the Galatea. Since you're here, your flight records must speak highly of you already. Serve the Galatea well. She's a fine ship. Report to your flight stations at 0830 for your squadron briefings. Familiarize yourself with the specifications of the GTD Orion-class destroyer, the Apollo Space Superiority Fighter, and the ML-16 Laser. Information on all of these can be found in the tech room. Pilot, attend. Welcome to the GTD Galatea. Your first assignment as part of the Galatea's crew is to stand the third watch. You will patrol the area surrounding the GTC Orp. The GTC Orf suffered an engine breakdown in the Beetlejuice system and is awaiting repairs. You will be on watch with one other ship, Alpha 2. Since this is your first watch, Alpha 2 will be piloted by Lieutenant Harbison, a seasoned veteran and top-notch pilot. You will begin your watch by jumping to Beetlejuice near the GTC Orf. We have reports of Vasudan fighters in this system, so stay alert. Engage and destroy any hostiles that threaten the Orb. At the end of your watch, you will be relieved by Delta Wing. Upon Delta's arrival, you are to return to base. Your primary objective will be to protect the Orb until the end of your watch. We expect you to carry out your orders to the letter. You may confirm your ship hardware and weapons loadout for this mission. If found satisfactory, commit to the mission. GTD Galate Quarterdeck, signing off. Okay, at this point we can check our um, loadout. We're flying a GTVF Apollo, which is pretty much a bog standard uh, fighter, master of nothing really. Um, we're armed with lasers. I'm deciding to give myself some fury missiles, which are uh, basically just fire. They fire and go in a straight line. You don't need to lock on or anything like that. The other options are uh, ones which do home, but they travel extremely slowly. They're not brilliant. Really. Um, to be honest, fury are probably better when you're better at the game, uh, which is not good for me. Hey there, Alpha One. I hear you're new to the Galatea. Uh, we are... Just follow my lead. You'll be fine. So, as you can see, the uh, if any of you are familiar with the original Free Space, this is a very significant graphical upgrade. Um, so, we're just following and waiting for something to happen. We've got company. Break and attack. One slight downside is that, as you can see, the ships are already damaged, and when the ships are damaged in the Source Code Project version, they do leave this, leave this trail of fire behind really expecting this much action. And um, that can really get in your way of targeting them. Plus, the Anubis has a fairly narrow, this looks like more than a scouting wave. narrow targeting profile, so they can be quite difficult to hit. Plus, I'm not really very good. One thing Free Space has become known for is the ability to uh, the ability to ram another ship without destroying yourself. But uh, small price to pay. That was the Fury missile you just saw me firing. 
Another thing you'll see from the source code project down at the bottom, that's the uh, three-dimensional radar. Just getting a look at the off here. It's a uh, Fenris... We better get relieved soon, I can't take much more. Fenris class cruiser, it's pretty much made of paper. So uh, we can't let these fighters get too close to it. They're the uh, rock eye missiles. Um, travel slowly but do hope. You'll notice on the right hand side the orf has actually been hit, but uh, not that much damage and it'll be fine. Well this is just a first up mission, pretty easy. Nothing to worry about. Basically just a chance to look at how pretty the game is essentially. Anyway, time for us to leave, enjoy the nice new warp flash. Good job on your first watch, pilot. Your strong sense of duty will serve the Alliance well. The presence of Vasudans in this system gives us little reason to worry. The ships that attacked you in the orb were probably remnants of the Vasudan convoy that we hit last week. Yeah, we're awesome. Uh, unfortunately we're not, because my accuracy is pretty garbage there, it has to be said, but... First mission, three kills to assist, whatever. Uh, I promise I will get better as this game unfolds, but for now we'll leave it there and I will see you next time.